Here's the problem with your AI agents. You're using the wrong ones. But we're gonna fix that in this video as I run you through the top 10 most popular AI agents and automations and rank them in this tier list. And the criteria is simple. Which AI agents bring in the most money? And this is both from the perspective of someone who wants to sell the agents and as someone using them, which ones are giving you the most value? We're gonna rapid fire through 10 of the most popular. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you all the templates. All right, first on the list, we got AI agent armies. These rack up ton of views and they also rack up your token costs. D tier. They're not actually good at anything. They're only good as a beginner project as you learn the fundamentals of agent building. All right, number two on the list is RAG agents, retrieval augmented generation S tier. This is the gold standard. This is how you create AI agents that actually act as members of a team and you need to understand graph RAG, vector RAG, and agentic RAG. All right, third on the list is voice agents. This is another easy S tier. Super easy to sell because the use cases are obvious. They replace sales reps, they replace receptionists, and the tech has actually gotten really good. All right, next on the list are content automations. Now this is gonna go into the B tier. This is the hardest one to rank because there are content automations that are S tier, and then there's content automations that are like below D tier. They're F tier, it's AI sloppy. You see it all over the place. This one it has the most variance because so much of it depends on the skill of the actual user. So results may vary. Next, we got research automations. In this case, you see something with fire crawl, but this could be with perplexity, tavly, anything. This is A tier. Use cases are very obvious, and you can oftentimes integrate them into larger AI ecosystems. Okay, now we got personal assistants, D tier. These suck, they rack up views, you see them everywhere, but nobody buys these things. Why? Because there's no true value here. They're great, again, as a beginner. You will learn how to build agents, you will learn sub agents, and they're nice to use when you first get started. It seems great when you can talk to something on Telegram and it sends emails, but in reality, nobody buys these. Don't waste your time past the beginner stage. All right, next we got content poster automations. Think of things like Blotato or upload posts. This is gonna be A tier, right? It's simple, but it's effective. I wanna post my content across nine platforms all at once. This automation lets me do it. Easy to sell, obvious value. Next, we got financial analysis automations. I'm gonna put this in C tier. It's kind of just a derivative of research agents, but they're kind of just fun to use. No one's actually buying these. Okay, we got custom newsletter automations. I'm gonna put this A tier. These actually sell pretty well. They're derivative of research agents. You're just taking the research and putting it into some format that people can actually read. Lots of people love these. Very easy to build and they sell well. All right, last but not least, we have lead generation automations. This is S tier. This is one of the gold standard automations that you must understand how to use because they're so easy to sell to clients. Hey, I have an automation that's gonna bring you more clients. The ROI is simple. Understand how they work. Understand where to source leads, how to enrich leads, how do you create custom messaging, and then how to put it into some cold outreach ecosystem. Now, if you wanna get your hands on these templates, just go to the link in my bio. You can find all of them in my community, as well as guides of how to actually get them up and running.